Hey everyone, Eric here from Lapfix. Back at it again, we got a mail in this time. Uh, where is it from? All right, from the great state of New Jersey. That's where it's from here. And we got a USB, looks like it's been open here before. See that? It's all taped up. So, looks like there was a problem with it. It's been opened. Fortunately, when you open it up, you really can't see the data in there, right? So, it's always puzzles me always when I see these things open before just to see what's going on. All jokes aside, I never really want to open this this type of device here because it's uh, what it is. There's a little piece of B board in here or there could be a connection. Maybe the solder is just a little bit loose in there. Then you break it off, you can damage extra pads, especially if you're really interested in getting data for data recovery. You definitely don't want to open any type of device um, because you can obviously make it worse. And sometimes it can be hard to find other type of components, especially this one or may have to get a donor. Uh, drive it's gonna take the process gonna take longer less chance for recovery that's always number one thing so we always take it very seriously here we always like to let people know especially you've probably seen it. if you've seen a few of our videos we always like to people know let the people know try not to open it because the data isn't in here it's not you're not gonna find it it won't be apparent to you that's just gonna come oh look you know there's my picture that's all i want i'm just gonna grab it from here no it's not gonna work that way but uh, anyways let's go ahead uh, let's take a look at it i'll just open it real quick to see if there's any extra damage we need to make sure that uh, we open it from the tape here and let's get into it we can move the top part. It looks to be fine. Hopefully this doesn't have <laughs> like the heads is being held in by the. Okay. So it kind of was like that, wasn't it? Okay. So let's see. Just trying to be really careful with it. See what's going on. Uh, we see it looks like that this part looks like it was detached. Probably tried. Hopefully not try to be taped back because that wouldn't be a good thing. So we have the board here. And now we also do have a head. This is a pretty basic head that we have. Um, now when we see something like this. Normally we think one thing, right? But now I can actually see it. And now we think of another thing. So looks like some of the pads have been actually removed here too. That can be from that. So let's go under a microscope. It should make a, a much better scene there. Okay. So in a perfect world, right? Um, if this was broken, depending on how it was broken, right? This is this is usually how it does connect here. You can see that there is four pads, and then these two are actually broken off there. Now, in a perfect world, in a perfect situation, in the best situation usually is there is a problem mainly just with uh, maybe the connection here that the pads don't get ripped. Now we don't know if, if it's been ripped because of the actual damage in the first place. Like uh, maybe this got chopped while it was in, maybe it got dropped while it was plugged in, something like that happened. Or most likely because it's been opened before, maybe there might have been a struggle and that actually did rip up the pads here too. So, and you can see there's actually part of the board here See these two in the middle? This is actually part of the board here. So what we might have to do is, might if you've seen it before, we create little jumpers here maybe to help connect to it. But these two are pretty important because you see they go directly to the SanDisk uh, controller here. So now when you have a problem like this too, especially if it was on or working and try to plug it in, you can't damage the controller. Um, we've had videos actually showing that one as well. And that's a whole different story. It's a whole different type of repair, different type of recovery here. Let's see, take a look to see if there's any extra damage, see if there's any components missing, but don't really see that as the case because we always want to take a look. Even something like this, even though it doesn't really appear to be that case, that this, this could be a component, but since it's been open, you can't always rule out the, the possibilities of it there, but it's always a chance, right? Because you want to see if it's been open before, worked on before, we want to see what the damage is. So for this one, what we would need to do first is at least um, create the connection like we just discussed, create a little bit of a jumper here, see if it does turn on, see if there's any other damage to it. That's the best case scenario. Of in this type of situation, it will turn on and work after we create that and the, the will be all, all good and dandy. If not, there might be a problem with this as well, but that's always the problem with flash drives. Um, and if there's a problem with the controller, you may need a donor controller or use uh, PC3000 and see if we can get the data. So let's go ahead and see if we can fix this first and then go from there. All right, everyone, let's get started. So let's, uh, let's dig for some gold here. You guys like to see that, right? Uh, we want to... Uh, recreate what these pads were from before and that was a connection for these trace lines so we're just going to follow the path of the trace line it's pretty obvious there because it's connecting right there and it's showing you right there and if we dig a little bit we can actually create the jumper there we're also going to be adding some uh, solder and some flux here so we can actually recreate um the the connections and we can actually make the, the connections a lot stronger especially in the top and bottom pad because they're going to be kind of like our mounting um, position because we do have two strong pads there even though they're a little bit damaged but the solder is gonna actually make it really nice um, and we see the little bit of a connection there all we need is a little bit of dot for for our little jumper wire that we need to put because it's all you really need is it's a connection right 
and that's all you need to have there. And it's gonna be very, very delicate. So um, the solder is gonna help, obviously, and uh, the flux is gonna help mix in with the solder so you have a re really nice clean connection. We're gonna be doing that, and uh, we're gonna make sure this connects totally fine and recreate what that was for before. So we can't actually just put on the USB just yet because if you remember, this is ripped off from from the board and we need to remove those trace lines because we won't have a nice connection there. So we can use a little bit of solder here and then just make sure that each four of these pins are actually going to be nice. So we're going to do that right now and then we're going to make sure that we put them on. We want to start with the top and the bottom one because that is the strongest part of where the, the pads are going to hold in. They're not really that damaged. It's very easy. You can just reconnect it. You see how nice and sturdy it is now. And then we're going to make the nice little delicate connection with our, with our jumpers and the two middle ones. This is very delicate because it's very easy to damage, especially if you're plugging this in and out you want to make sure you hold the right way because if you grab it a certain way you're going to rip this out and it's going to be a big problem and you're not going to get any data so our solder looks to be pretty good here um, should actually work should connect totally fine hopefully no other issues so let's go ahead and test it out okay so here's the final result let's go ahead and see if it's going to work okay made the noise Okay, so you see it, it's plugged in. We got the data come up. Let's go switch to our screen cap. Okay, obviously you can't show the actual data here. It's there. Lots of documents, looks like. Let's see, stuff from different years, which is good. Now if we go to the PC, it's a USB drive. So it's a small drive, 16 gig. Not much in there, but it looks like important documents. Obviously that's why it's in the first place. So everything looks to be pretty good. Hey guys, so we were able to get the data on this one everything looks to be pretty good and everybody's happy so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoy watching this video on doing um, a sand disk repair for a usb if you did please leave a like it really does help us a lot subscribe for more content these are scenarios that are a little bit more fortunate than other ones because it is more just fix the usb there's no other problem with with the flash or anything else going on there especially if you're really serious about the data you don't want to be opening it and giving it to uh, recovery place like us like this because you don't want to knock any components you don't want to risk any data if there's anything else going on with it it can be another problem as well this is one of those more fortunate cases so um, always if you're serious about your data please just don't open anything just bring it for recovery and let her do let us do our work so uh, it's always the number one thing especially if you're really really serious we expect everyone to be really serious especially if you send in a device um, for repair or if you send in a device for data recovery especially all the macbook boards too they all have the SSD that's soldered into it. So we're very, very aware um, that it's a very serious matter, especially doing repairs for it, because not only are you fixing a board or, um, or any device that you do, most of the time it has some type of data that's tied to it and the customer always needs their data. And we know that's a very serious matter. So anyways, hope you guys are watching, found it informative and see you guys in the next video. We have lots of cool data recoveries. We have lots of USB repairs. We have um, mechanical drives as well, SSDs. Go ahead, and check that out. If you're interested in, in liquid spill repairs and see how to get data from those, or at least do a fix on the board so we can get data, we have lots of that as well with M1 Pros, M2 models as well, um, MacBook Airs, you name it, the touch bar ones, 15 inch, whatever, we have it here on the channel. So go ahead, check it out if you're interested. And see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, bye.